some drama divas and drama dudes and top model super fans welcome back to Christina's drama so today I'm going to be reviewing the third episode of America's Next Top Model cycle 22 so let's just get straight into it so following on from last week the models still don't know if they've made the final cut so what I've decided to name the height of embarrassment the guys had to climb this high 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 bridge they had to walk on this bridge and if they'd made the final cut they could then be able to get to the other side by this harness. If they didn't make it, they would drop to the floor. So that's why I decided to name it the height of embarrassment because that's embarrassing. I mean, come on guys, like <laughs> you drop if you don't get through. I mean, I felt so sorry for them. One thing that really just kind of made me upset in this episode, I mean, I'm kind of an emotional person anyway, but I'm not someone like, I don't know, just cries like a pregnant woman. But this part of the episode just made me actually cry. <laughs> So basically Courtney was saying how she um, had grown up without any friends and she was actually being bullied and I just thought oh my gosh she's only 21 and she's been through all of that. No one deserves to go through life without any friends and to be made fun of so I'm really glad she's in the competition. What made me cringe though was when she was saying how Mikey has been such a support to her and how he's always been there for her in the house and how he's like her only friend. I thought this is going to end bad. So the guys are modelling Jay Alexander's new line of shoes. I've seen them on social media. I'm so glad that he um, incorporated it into the episode because I've been seeing them on social media and I just love the shoes. Unfortunately, the guys didn't have any shoes by Jay Alexander because um, he's only designed shoes for women at the moment, but they all had to practice their Romeo walks before they got onto the heights of embarrassment. Now, Dustin was up first and I was surprised that he got through because he's kind of this country guy and I just didn't really feel like um, he, he has that something. He's so sweet and so nice, so but I just don't see any modelling potential with him. Lacey was up next and I loved her posing. I think Lacey is one to watch. I was just in awe of her. She looked like an angel. I think she should have won the challenge. Unfortunately, Bryant didn't make the cut. Now, Bryant was definitely someone who was in the running, definitely someone who was a contender because of his strong social media presence. He's got a lot of followers on social media, but he just didn't have that thing. I don't know if it's because he was quite arrogant and cocky, but there was just something about him that just wasn't ringing true. And it's kind of sad though, when he was like almost crying at the end, I did feel a bit sorry for him, especially when he said that he like had to give up his like college scholarship to come onto Top Model and to not get through. I think, I think that was kind of sad. So I was really surprised that Melissa didn't make the cut. I mean, Melissa did, um, she did really try really hard in the first episode, I remember, and second episode because of her height, she was really short. And I, I felt like she kept fighting for her place in the competition so it was a bit strange that she didn't get through especially because Tyra wanted to include all models of all heights and I think the saddest part of of the cut and the heights of embarrassment was Dallas now Dallas was definitely someone that I liked like facially from the beginning but his poses just weren't popping especially when he did that frog pose last week when he had the top model um hashtag um photo shoot I just thought that that wasn't a great <laughs> a great photo but I loved his determination and I loved his um energy and did they have to play that video clip of him saying to his saying that he told his mother that one day I'll be famous one day I'll make you proud and then they showed him just dropping down off out of the height of embarrassment I was like no nah. so last up was Devon and Bayer was in the corner praying and hoping that Devon would fall off the height of embarrassment but of course he didn't fall they can't get rid of Devon the drama queen he just stirs up the drama so there's no way they were going to get rid of him what I thought was really strange and what the judges he had Jay Alexander there and I think someone from next model management they were saying how he kept licking his lips and clicking his I don't know what the hell he was doing and it was just really weird and I think he was trying to amp himself up like yeah yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna get to the other side yeah and it it looked really really weird but he still managed to get through so we finally got our final 14 I'm so excited yes I can finally get into the competition I think the audition process went on far far too long but I'm glad we're finally here final 14 and Mame won the challenge she won the height of embarrassment challenge and I was like I like M Mame's um walk but to me Lacey was the winner she ended up being second but Lacey to me is definitely definitely a contender so we finally have our first 
photo shoot I was so excited and it was a great photo shoot um, directed by um, Tara Banks boyfriend Eric Asler he's such a nice guy isn't he so sweet and it was such a great great photo shoot a tied up photo shoot they were paired up and they were all tied up in different things hair or um, computer cords and I was so happy that Justin and Mame were paired together because of their sexual chemistry that they had and I was thinking their photo shoot was going to be the best. So I think I say this every year with Top Model, I always say that there should be a Top Model boot camp before the actual show starts because sometimes I feel like some of the models are so green, they have no idea what they're doing but they expected to do so much. So I thought it was great that Tyra helped the models out with this no neck tutorial. She taught them how to use their neck and towards the light and stuff. I thought that was a really helpful tutorial because that information will help the models throughout the whole of the series. And I thought it was really, I thought it was really funny how Hadassah um, didn't take the direction well at all. And then Stefana asked her, well, excuse me, like, what, what are you going to do? Like, how are you going to incorporate these movements in your actual photo shoot? And Hadassah wasn't really for it. She was like, oh, well, I like to kind of be free and do what I want. And Stefano was like, you idiot. And that, and I did kind of agree with him with that. But at the same time, I understand where Hadassah's coming from because you kind of want to be free, like, in modelling. Like, I, I just, I guess it's a bit of a science to it. And I suppose some people want to be free and just be able to do what they want to do. And I guess that's probably where Hadassah's coming from. She just wants to be who she wants to be, you know what I mean? And not be restricted by certain moves. But Tyra was offering very, very good information and I think she should have taken it on board. So when I was watching the episode, I saw Delaney and I just thought to myself, this woman is so beautiful. She's so beautiful. And it, it came out in the episode that she had suffered with weight issues and she'd been bullied about her, her weight issues. So she took it upon herself to lose all the weight. But she still suffered, suffered from fat girl syndrome. Like she still felt like she was a fat girl. So she didn't really know how to move her body and stuff and that was definitely counting against her in this challenge she was paired up with Niall and it just it just wasn't really working I, I don't think they connected with each other as well and it was a shame because Delaney, Delaney to me was is a very very beautiful model oh Stefano you're so lost aren't you just lost like so Stefano comes out cockies and up himself as always he was paired up with Ava and the first thing he said to her was listen to me listen to everything I, I say I know what I'm doing and I thought to myself do you now are you are you Tyra I mean what I don't understand why you would say that to someone because saying that to someone in that moment he could have psyched her out. He could have made her really pissed off and not wanting, wanting to work together with him. And that's what the first shoot needed. It needed them to work together. And what happened was, even though I think Ava handled it really well, she, she ended up outshining him and he looked like a deer in headlights. So we suddenly see Courtney and Courtney sitting in the corner. She looks like she's about to die. I don't know what's wrong with her. My heart is racing. I'm thinking, Courtney, what's wrong with you? And they don't really explain what's wrong with her, but she says that she's had a stomach ache. But the way she was acting, I thought that she was having a panic attack or something. She, something just didn't seem right. And so this is before she had her photo shoot with Mikey. And we see Mikey like, where's Courtney and they tell her, him that you know something's wrong with her she doesn't she's, she's not well or whatever and Mikey's reaction is like oh god like what now and I understand that reaction because he is there wanting to win the competition he needs his he needs his uh, fellow competitor to work with him so I get his frustration what I don't get is how unhuman he was because I can I could just tell the way he was acting towards her was just fake and it was just like just leave her let other people deal with her if you can't bother to deal with her don't go in there like you're the boss because it just came across so fake and you looked you looked me so then they all get back to the house and Mikey is there talking about Courtney and Courtney is just an earshot and basically Mikey is saying how Courtney is weak and he doesn't want to look after her anymore. Who asked you to look after her Mikey? Who asked you to look after her? Why are you being a dick for? And it was just so uncomfortable because I love Mikey. I loved him before Top Model started. I saw him on social media. I thought he was, I thought he was gorgeous. I thought he was everything 
that a model should be. All I was hoping in my mind that he wasn't a dick. I was just praying that he wouldn't fit that stereotype of a good looking model who just hasn't got that nice personality. And the things he was saying about Courtney were just horrible. And to see someone crying like that, I was just like, you have no heart. Like, he was acting like he was doing her a favour, even being in her presence. And then Ava was like, trying to, trying to just explain to him why she was upset. And he told her to shut up. And I was just like, I was literally, I literally screamed. Like, how can you talk to a woman like that? Who do you think you are? So yay, we are at the first judging i was so excited when i saw all the models standing there for the first time and tyra there looking beautiful as ever it was just such a great moment because i was like finally we're finally at this first judging we can just get down to business and the first people who were up were bayo and lacy and to me they sh one of the two of them should have won best photo like I've, I've said like the last two weeks that i think that bayo really needs a makeover because he has such a beautiful look but it's like something's not working but this photo shoot when Bayer gets his complete makeover he's going to be one to watch because he looks so beautiful Lacey as well they work well together one of the two of them should have won best photo I actually think Bayer should have won best photo because to me it was just absolutely breathtaking that photo oh Hadassah 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 I really really like you but it's it's just not working the modeling thing like she's so beautiful her skin's so beautiful but she just she hasn't taken a picture that has really wowed me yet she took the first picture she took i was like she's that she's okay but now i'm just like oh you've, you've got a lot to learn the picture was terrible dustin was terrible in it as well i hope they can pick it up but no 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 i think hadassah and dustin should have been in the bottom too so of course Mikey had to walk into judging looking so damn sexy. I was like, oh my gosh, Mikey, I'm mad at you. Why do you have to look so good? And he took a great photo with him and Courtney. So I was just like, okay, Mikey, you kind of get a pass because you're hot and the photo was great. But at the same time, America's Next Top Model is a reality TV contest as well. I mean, they say it's not, but it is. And if you want to win the heart of the public, you got to change up your attitude and be more receptive. I mean, and we've seen sides of Mikey where he talks about his family, he's an emotional. And I think I want to see more of his real side. So next up was Devon and Ashley. And to me, Devon's photo was okay. It wasn't bad but i just didn't understand why he ended up winning best photo it wasn't a best photo to me and ashley um the way she looked in judging she looked like any girl from the high street like she looked beautiful in the photo but i was a bit like is that ashley like i was like well, no that girl definitely needs a good makeover i think they should give her a short hairstyle so she doesn't have to put it up in a scrunchy bun or anything but she looked really good in the photo but all together okay Stefano and Ava. So Stefano like showed himself up again in judging. He was saying how, um, oh, I had to help Ava out because she's younger than me. Whatever. The photo was terrible with you in it, Stefano. Ava was the only good thing in it. I don't understand why it was a bit blurry. Was just that? Was just that me? Was that just me? Because <laughs> to me, it looked really blurry, like the actual picture. But Ava still looked really, really pretty. And um, yeah, Stefano just made himself look like a, such an idiot. Like. I don't understand who, like, what's going on in this guy's mind. He's just, he thinks he's better than what he is. And I think he was just dragged down to, like, real life when um, Tyra said to him, look, male models don't get paid as much as female models. Male models are used as props when women are there. And this is what you, you look like in this photo. And she hit the nail on the head. So I was expecting fireworks when Justin and Mame worked together I was thinking they were going to win best photo but I was really disappointed in the photo I was like it was just so like discouraging to see because Justin was hardly in the photo and Mame just was, wasn't really there present in the photo and together there was no kind of connection there and it was really really sad because Justin and Mame have so much chemistry I think they'd have beautiful babies so it was kind of disappointing. And then you had Delaney and Niall now I personally thought this photo was was better than how the judges were making it out to be I didn't think it was that that bad I don't think it was Niall's best photo but I didn't think it was Delaney's worst photo so when she was in the bottom two with um Stefano like I, I personally didn't think they were the worst of the bunch 
but Delaney ended up going home and I really think she had a lot of potential she was I think she's so so pretty and but I wasn't devastated that she was going home but I don't necessarily think that she was the worst of the bunch this week so guys let me know what you thought about America's Next Top Model Cycle 22 episode 3 I want to add that I'm really happy they've taken away the fan vote and um, the fan vote last season I thought was really messy how it was like the challenge score the judges score and then the fan vote I mean it just got a bit messy I think top models should be judged by Tyra Banks and Kelly Catrone and Jay Alexander I don't think it should be messed around with the viewers and staff because they're the professionals they're the people who should be the ones who end up making the final decision because they see the models at the high and the lows and I think this is probably the best decision. So let me know what you thought about the episode, let me know in the comments section, like this video, subscribe to my channel because I do top model reviews every single week and I will see you soon drama divas and dudes.